Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kent Pierce. Several families are looking for a new place to live, and a 56-year-old man is fighting for his life today after his SUV smashed into a multifamily home in Meriden. News 8's Jason Newton has more from the scene. Just before 8 a.m. this morning, Meriden police tell us that a GMC envoy came barreling down Wall Street here, went up over the driveway, traveling fast, and went straight into the home, displacing at least five families and causing major structural damage. It's scary. It was really scary. What started as a normal Tuesday morning quickly turned to chaos for people living in this home on Broad Street in Meriden. I was sleeping and I heard like a loud boom and like I didn't know what it was because I was in a dead sleep and I saw all the stuff kind of fell off my wall like there was nothing on the wall. Meriden police say a 56 year old man for unknown reasons crashed into the five unit building smashing so hard that it shifted the home destroying part of the foundation. Police say the driver may have suffered a medical condition before the crash. Our male driver has since been life starred to a uh, ear nearby trauma center and the female passenger also transported for what's believed to be serious injuries via ambulance. No one inside the home was seriously injured, but the impact knocked Dana Carlson to the ground in her first floor apartment as she held a cup of coffee. I ended up on the floor and uh, got myself up and then I heard people screaming and I was like, what was that? What was that? And she's like, a car crashed into our house. Five families are now out in the cold just weeks before Christmas, only given an opportunity to quickly grab some clothing before vacating the apartment, possibly forever. No, no, it's not going to be fun. This is going to be terrible. This not is horrible. Everyone. And the families here were notified that the Red Cross will be assisting in helping them to find places to stay for the next few nights. And the investigation continues. Reporting in Meriden, Jason Newton, News 8.